Hello everyone, it's me Dr. Muhammad Shweb and in this lecture we will learn Norrish type 2 reaction that is a photochemistry of carbon oil compounds. What are Norrish type 2 reactions? The carbon oil compounds having a gamma hydrogen undergo intramolecular hydrogen abstraction followed by alpha beta carbon carbon bond cleavage. The products are enol and alkene. Enol is tetramerized to keto form or uh, the ring closure through the formation of 1,4 bi radical. It is nourish type 2 reaction. The carbonyl compounds having a weak carbon carbon bond between alpha and beta carbon undergo such type of cleavage. It takes place by two types of ketones that is saturated acyclic ketone and saturated cyclic ketones. Here is a first example of Norrish type 2 reaction. At first, this hydrogen is shifted here and it becomes a hydroxyl group and then the one electron is here and other is here then this bond is broken down and enol is formed which is tetramerized to a keto form and the second portion here it becomes an alkene but the second option is that this 1,4 bi radical is cyclized to form a cyclobutanol. The possibility of cyclobutanol is very less as the four member rings are unstable. So the ketone and alkene will be major product. Here is another example. This is alpha and this carbon is beta when this bond is broken down uh, with the help of light then the two radicals are formed both are alkyl radicals and in the next step this hydrogen along with its one electron is shifted to this CH2 and it is converted into keto form and the remaining alkyl group is converted into alkene. Here is an example of photolysis of 2,2-dimethylheptane-3-ion. Suppose if it is in triplet state, in triplet state it undergo alpha cleavage. It will undergo alpha cleavage because it will form a very stable radical. That's why it also undergo alpha cleavage along with the beta cleavage or Norrish type 2 reaction. And in singular state, at the first stage, the similarly, this hydrogen is shifted to this oxygen, then 1, 4 bi radicals are formed. This bi radical is cyclized to cyclobutane or it is converted into similar to the previous example it is converted into enol which is which is tetramerized to keto or aldehyde so one is keto form and other is alkene the cyclobutane is also uh, unstable so it also cleaved from here one is enolic form as shown here which is tetramerized to ketone and other is alkene. So all these process ends in the formation of a carbonyl and an alkene. Here is the knowledge type 2 reaction by saturated acyclic ketone. Here it is S5-methyl-2-heptanone. Initially, it is in singular state as shown here. This one 
show that it is in singlet state similar to the previous example this h is shifted to this o and it undergoes this bond cleavage which is between alpha and beta so one is alkene and other is enol which is which is tetramerized to the keto form it can also undergo intersystem crossing so the singlet this singlet is converted into triplet form triplet mean bi radicals here are the two possibilities one is that this bond rotation can lead to the racemic mixture of the starting material that is 5 methyl 2 heptanone or the bond rotation leads to the cyclization that is cyclobutane here is another example the hydrogen from this methyl is shifted to this o and then this bond is broken down and alkene is removed this alkene is eliminated and this enol form is converted into keto form here are the second type of uh, cyclic ketone that is saturated cyclic ketones as we all know that the three member rings are unstable so this alpha beta bond is broken down and this one three bi radical is formed here are the two possibilities this hydrogen is shifted to the either to this carbon or this carbon if this hydrogen is shifted to the this carbon then it is it becomes ca3 methyl and a double bond is formed here which is a major product as we all know that the most substituted double bond is highly stable and if this hydrogen is shifted to this carbon then a double bond is formed at the terminal position which is a minor product as the this double bond or alkene is less stable here, here is another option um, that why this alkene is more stable that this alkene is in resonance with this carbonyl compound carbonyl group so it will be the major product here again there are two possibilities as it is alpha this carbon is beta and this carbon is also beta carbon so first we talk about this if this bond is break, broken between alpha and beta then a bi radical is formed here one three bi radical in next step this hydrogen is shifted to this methylene and a double bond is formed here to form this product uh, if this inner bond of cyclopropane ring is broken down then ring expansion takes place with this radical 1 2 3 1 3 by radical then again this hydrogen is shifted to this carbon so that a double bond is formed which is in conjugation with this carbonyl this is the major product and this is the only product if there is not a cyclopropane ring if there is epoxy ring and then there is also a possibility of norish type 2 reaction it is alpha it is beta here the beta is not a carbon we have seen about the cyclopropane ring when there is a carbon instead of this oxygen now if this bond is broken 
then one three bi radical is formed here and in this reaction an interesting product is formed that this methyl along with one electron is shifted that is one two alkyl shift or one two carbon shift so that a double bond is formed between this oxygen and the carbon from which alkyl group is migrated and this is the rearranged product which is the different one from the previous examples here is another example there are certain other possibilities let's see that if alpha and beta cleavage both takes place here is the beta cleavage we have seen previously then alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound is formed we have seen the mechanism of this reaction previously and if this alpha bond is cleaved then this aldehyde unsaturated aldehyde is formed or we have seen this example in norish type 1 reaction this is all about norish type 2 reactions thank you